Okay, we're getting pictures now of the Prime Minister unveiling the statue of Lachit Borpokan in Assam. Prime Minister Modi's tribute to the Aum general who fought against Mughals. This is a massive tribute by the Prime Minister and, of course, the people of Assam to Lachit Borpokan. The Prime Minister there unveiling, of course, the plaque as well. He is in Jorhat in Assam right now. He, of course, started his morning in Assam at the Kaziranga National Park, after which he flew to Itanagar in Arunachal Pradesh. And now he's back in Assam in Jorhat, paying his tribute there to Lachit Borpokan, the famous general of the Royal Army of the Ohom Kingdom of Assam, who defeated the Mughals. That is an 84 feet high, magnificent statue. Now, this project, which the Prime Minister has just unveiled, also included the construction of Lachit and Thai Ohom Museum and a 500 seating capacity auditorium. The project is also an effort to celebrate the valor of Lachit Borpokan and enhance awareness about him. It will also boost tourism and lead to a generation of employment opportunities is what the centre says as far as the Prime Minister's programme here in Assam is concerned. You can see there the Assamese people paying their tributes to the legendary fighter. In pictures, of course, uh, Assam's Chief Minister, Hemant Abiso Sarma as well, standing beside the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister will also shortly inaugurate and dedicate to the nation and lay the foundation stone of multiple development projects that are aimed at strengthening the health, oil and gas, railway and housing sector in Jorhat as we speak. My colleague Suryagni is joining us for more on this. Uh, Suryagni, we're seeing the Prime Minister unveiling the plaque and, of course, the uh, dedicating to the people of Assam and the nation the magnificent statue of Lachit Borpokan. Well, yes, absolutely, Polomi. And, uh, you know, as we have been saying since morning that uh, this is, uh, in a way, uh, Narendra Modi's, uh, uh, you know, uh, push in uh, the entire Northeast to re-solidify its uh, position, uh, not only in Assam, but also throughout the Northeastern states. Uh, uh, the BJP is in a very comfortable position right now in the Northeastern states, if we just look at the previous uh, elections in the past one, two years, because uh, since the past 10 years, there has been an upsurge of uh, the BJP politically and electorally in uh, not only in Assam but throughout uh, the entire Northeast. And uh, when the Prime Minister, you know, uh, does back-to-back -back programs in the Northeast, especially especially Assam and Arunachal, it is extremely clear that BJP wants to re-solidify its position and make sure that they win the maximum amount of seats from this particular, uh, you know, uh, the, the entire of Northeast, including Assam. Assam Assam has the maximum number of seats in the Northeast uh, in 2019. The uh, BJP won, uh, got got, it, got got the lion's share of it. And uh, by what, by the way, uh, the Prime Minister has been campaigning uh, and the way he has been, you know. Uh, uh, doing what he has been doing uh, since morning in Assam and Arunachal, it is extremely, extremely clear that uh, the Prime Minister doesn't want to take any chance and wants to, you know, re-solidify its position to make sure that they win majority of the seats, not only in Assam, not only in Arunachal, but throughout the seven sisters of the Northeast. Back to you. Suryagni, thank you so much for joining us with all of those details.